this story, I didn't believe it when I seen it. But once I seen the mom on TV like this, I was like, well, uh, uh, what? And and my thing is like, granted, yes, the AI company is at fault, but the mother, you're also at fault too. Like they have they have tools on phones, like parental controls, where you could have blocked the literal app in which he was engaging with that person on. You could have blocked the tools he was using to talk to this this thing, this AI bot. You could have blocked it out. Like and 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 that's again as a parent like you have to go the extra mile for your child so again it's it's a lot on the company and partially on you uh it, it's crazy to hear that i know for her but like that's the truth i've been talking on this this particular platform right mm -hmm. i didn't know that he was talking to a very human like uh ai chatbot that has the ability to emit or mimic human emotion and human sentiment mm. and also the ability to um to to invoke that same sort of uh, sentiment conversation. From a, yeah, conversation yeah. from my so you, when you see him on his phone, you think he's talking to friends or he's playing games, correct? correct. Uh, I thought he was talking to friends, uh, playing games, looking at sports. Uh, like this is a sad thing at ten years old to get caught up with an AI bot friend, and the bot com convinces you of this. This is crazy. Playing games looking at sports, uh, the regular things that teenage, teenagers do on their uh, cell phones. So what made you become concerned? I became concerned. Uh, I, I didn't know that character AI was an issue in my home um, because, quite frankly, I didn't understand that there was such a product that uh, a human-like AI chatbot. I became concerned for my son when he started to behave very differently than he did before. Mm -hmm. um, he what does started, that mean? Yeah. He started to withdraw socially, um, spending most, wanting to spend most Dang. of his time in his room alone. Uh, you know what? You know what? You know what? I'm going to retract my statement at the beginning. I think she might have just thought like, like it was like it's Discord and you're talking to somebody and they have like this AI picture, this user picture of them. And she's not thinking this person, this this bot, this AI is a is a, a she's thinking it's a person as well. Um, Cause I know he probably showed her the messages. You know what I'm saying? Ah, oh, what's he said was funny or whatever. But it, it's really a bot, man. That's it's a scary world for parents. It's a scary world for parents. So I'm gonna shoot her some bail. I'm gonna shoot her some bail. I was wrong in the beginning. I was wrong. You know. Teenage, teenagers do that, uh, but for me, it became particularly concerning when he stopped wanting to do things like play sports. Mm -hmm. uh, he's He was playing basketball since he was five years old, and he played on uh, his school's junior varsity team. He was an amazing athlete. I became concerned when we would go on vacation, and he didn't want to do the things that he loved, like fishing and hiking. Mm -hmm. uh, those wow. things to me, because I, you know, I knew my I know my child, were particularly concerning to me. And then after he after he took his life, it, it was revealed to you. You started looking at his phone and you mm -hmm. saw all of these things. What did you see that was concerning to you? The conversations that he was having with mm. several bots, but particularly one bot that he um, was. Con several bots. Man, I thought, man, for a second till the sun came in there. This is gonna sound crazy, but I thought like this. But this was the bot picture. I didn't realize it's the mom. Uh, okay, the mom fine, and and this would be some Florida shit. This would be some Florida shit, man. Um, I'm gonna rewind back. What's she talking about? Particularly one bot that he um, was conducting a romantic and sexually explicit via texting or like sexting. Yeah, what does that what mean? What the fuck? Like, these are words. Correct. It's okay. words. It's it's like you're having a sexting conversation back and forth, except it's with an AI bot. But the That's AI bot crazy. is very human-like. It's responding just like a person. And he's 14. He is 14. So, oh, yeah. he's 14. He's 14. Okay. Who put out the initial thing that said he was 10? See, this is why I don't like people, bro. People just be lying for no reason. If the kid is 14, let him be 14. Don't be saying no 10 years old. 
Oh, to um, her knowledge, had he even, was even Facebook, engaged in yeah. sexual activity. I would think that that would be a game changer for him as well. At Correct. Years old. So it, it makes me sad that this was my, my child's first experience with being in love or romance. That's mm -hmm. saddening to me. Mm -hmm. um, because uh, every mother wants that their child to come into their own in that respect. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, there's, there's a product out there um, that allows uh, children to get on there and have these uh, romantic relationships, these sexually explicit and obscene, really, um, obscene conversations with a bot. And in a child's mind, that is just like a relationship that they're yeah. having with a... With yeah, yeah, so I, I would view this no different than people that get married, you know what I'm saying, online in different games, whether it's WoW, Maple Story, um, uh, uh, Final Fantasy XIV, um, you know, RuneScape, EverQuest, you name it, like, you know what I'm saying, there's whole economies built around, like, getting married in the game, in the game, like, whole cinematic weddings. Like, it's crazy. And then they'll have a honeymoon, like, in the game, and, like, some beautiful location in the game, which is insane. Um, And that's that's unfortunate that his first, damn, his first true love was a fucking bot. Yo, see, this is that shit out of a fucking movie, bro. This is some shit out of a fucking movie. His first love was a bot. With another child or with a person? That is just like a relationship that they're yeah. having with with a, with another child or with a person, um, and it damn, damn man. But um, to give y'all some additional some additional details, right? Um, you know, I don't want it on her. I want it on her uh, on the mom. Um, there's a better. There's a better. There's a better close up of the mom. I, I don't want to do it like that. She's actually cute. I ain't gonna do. I ain't gonna do it like that. And she gonna do it. Yeah, her and the kid. Where's okay? Where is her and the kid? Her and the kid. Her and the kid. Her and the kid. Her and the kid. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop it right there. Anyway. Um. Yeah, these companies got to be stopped. They have to be stopped. See, this is the type of shit that we just don't need in society, man. We don't need it. This has to be stopped. We got to get rid of this. Um, yeah, so now um, she's, suing the, uh, she's suing Google. Now, here's the interesting part. She's suing Google, right? Because the, the chat service that she was using... She's saying was a proxy um, for Google. Like so, Google bought the uh, the chat uh, character company, right? That was um, the AI company that was doing it, and was getting and was mining their data to help their other bot. You know what I'm saying? It, it was basically an in between to gather data for the AI bot. But I, I, it's just really, really unfortunate. Um, absolutely. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I mean, the thing is, the, the young man wasn't old enough to know the difference between a bot and real life. Um, wow. Damn, man. Like, there's real women, right? He And he just, he into, fuck. Man, um, now, this did happen back in February. But we're we're just not getting all these details because she finally gathered up all the information, you know, prepared her case and she's prepared to sue. Like, and trust me, some heads are gonna roll for this one because like she's she's gonna win. Like the way that she has a lawsuit set up, like she she's probably gonna win. It might take her a while because Google's gonna spend every dime to not address it, but uh she's probably gonna win. Um, anyway, man, uh, praying for that young, well, praying for his, her, her and his family, um, praying for all the other kids out here, man, parents, like, 
you you got to ban that app. You got to ban that app. Like get down to the nitty gritty of it and ban it and ban it. He'll appreciate you for it later. She'll appreciate you for it later. Don't let them fall in love with these AI bots. Do not. Anyway, I'm up out of here. Y'all have a good one.